Hey guys, we're back. We work on putting the like removing the old axle. And of the second one, the first one's already installed, the wheels are already on the first one. So we're gonna work on the second one now. Let's get at it.
All right, guys. So, the second axle's on. Let's take a look at it. Uh, um, I kind of torqued. I'm going to have to cut this one off. I'm going to go get, have to go get another bolt. I don't have one. kind of torqued it too much. And... I bent the bolt on this one so let's take a look so as you can see it got bent so I'm gonna have to grind this one off and then I gotta go down and get another bolt because I'm out of bolts now this one's fine I'm fine axles in this is the first axle that I put in I got new tires new rims I'm waiting on the other two rims they haven't come in yet I tried to get aluminum rims, but there was always some kind of hold up with them. I waited with discount tire forever and ever and ever, and and they never showed up. It was on back order, being next week, following week. And I just said, you know what? So I went over to Elif. Elif had two rims, and he's supposed to get me the other two by tomorrow. So we'll see. So at least I can get this axle mounted. That way I could take the old second axle off and mount the new one on there. But as you can see, it's in. Nice. Ready to go. Let's take a look at the old one real quick. Got it over here. These were done. I can't even get, I can't get the lugs off them. I'm going to have to get a torch. I thought maybe if I come in here and I grind all these out... I could take a hammer and I could beat it off maybe but I just don't know how rusted the the, uh, the thread is in here it may not even come out but as you can see they needed to be replaced I would have been in a pickle if I would have had a flat because there would be no way I could get any of these tires off on, this, on these axles no way those things are on there man um, yeah so probably what's gonna have to happen is I could probably try grinding but I don't know if all that efforts going to uh, pay off more than likely what I do is uh, well I gotta go get some gas and some oxygen for my settling tank I haven't used that in years but I do have one in the garage and I'll just cut the lugs off that's probably gonna be the easiest cut this one yeah so see definitely needed to get replaced look at all that rust it's a I knew when I bought this six years ago I knew I was gonna have to address it sometime in the future see, this tire is pretty good man this one's in pretty good shape it's a shame but you see these things are a lot smaller yeah I would have been in a world of hurt on the side of the road let's look at the other one the other one's over here same thing see how I try to get in there look at that Probably the only way is going to be to either grind them off or a torch. Torch would probably be the quickest. Just cut them off of there. Look at that. Same thing. Way past time. I was, I was riding on borrowed time on these. This looks like the cleanest one out of all four of them right here it's rusted but it's not as bad as any of the other ones i mean this is bad but at least it still has some on it so let's look at the trailer again so new axles on both of them this is a brand new tire there's my spare um, but I am going to get a new rim because same thing with this one as you can see It's like all the other ones It's rusting out So he ordered four more rims 
once I finish the whole project, I'll get a cost analysis on what it costs to do all this. Um, to buy a new trailer is about six thousand, about between six thousand and sixty-five hundred bucks, right in there somewhere. You know, and add some taxes on it, so you're closer to almost like seven thousand. So it's cheaper to do the repair than it is to uh, buy a new trailer at this point. And like I say, I'll break it all down. Once I finish everything on this boat trailer, I will uh, itemize it to let you guys know what exactly I spent and what it's going to cost to do it right. I mean, yeah, you can cut corners here and there. And try to save a little money but in the long run it's going to come back to bite you because like I said once I finish this repair I'm going to um, and once I get the boat back online I'm uh, I'm going to do some traveling when my when I have my time off I'm going to I'm not only going to fish here in the lower Laguna Madre but I'm going to go up to Corpus Christi and go up to uh, Rockport Ingleside, all those places, and try all those places out. Matagorda Bay. So I need to make sure that I'm not going to have any issues as I'm going down the road. And she's going to be looking up pretty good. So once I put that other bolt in, once the rims come in, tires. Okay, so. I can give you an update on these tires because I just went and had these put on here earlier today. So, for the two tires, mounted, balanced, and road warranty, it's 500 bucks. They're $189 a tire. And then the mounting, balancing, road warranty for if I run over anything to get them replaced, um, it was right at $4.99. I think $490, $490, $499. Just right under $500 for two of them. And then the rims were $118 a piece. So that's a plus tax. That's another $250 right there. So right here, just sitting right here, you got five, six, seven, you got about $850 just in rims and tires. So I still got to do the other one. So I'm going to have another $850 that's going to go on here. The axles we already talked about, um, they were, I, I think I covered them in the last video, or one of the videos, I don't remember. But I, I'd have to look at the invoice on those. I think it was uh, $1,800 for both axles, I want to say, with taxes. 750 I think, a piece, and then plus taxes and shipping. So it was like 18, 1900 bucks. So we still got to put the tongue in. I haven't done that. Like I said, my time's limited. I have very little time off. But you can see now you can get a better look at it and see what it's been doing to see what the issue is. <sighs> Yeah, completely gone. Here, there's another. I dodged a, another bullet right here with this because this thing was completely gone. And I got the new tongue laying over there that I'll put in. Look at that. So we'll be getting that in on my next day off. I'll be chipping away on that and working on the runners, on the running boards. It's going to be a slow process, guys, because like I said, I don't got a lot of time. So when I do have time, I come out here and I, I chip away at it. So you have to bear with me. Um, eventually we'll get there. It's looking like I was saying last time I said I was going to be back on the water by the fall time was what it was looking like um well we're gonna have to make an adjustment on that because that's it's already fall and i'm nowhere near 
I haven't even I haven't even done the work on the boat yet. The boat's still sitting right there, man. <laughs> Where I propped it up. Um, but I will give you some news. Uh, I won't tell you yet. But like I said, when I fired up the motor the last time, when I fired the motor up the last time on the boat, uh, I had a major oil leak. So on the old show water here. So I, I'm basically done with this motor. Put it in here so you can see it. I mean, it runs, but it, but it shoots oil out like you wouldn't believe. So I have to take all this apart. There's just, there's two seals in here. There's one on the bottom of the block and then there's gonna be one that's gonna be on the oil pump, which sits right inside here somewhere. So all this, all this, it's all gotta come apart again. Um, yeah, enough's enough, man. I don't want to have any issues out of it. So I'm going a different route. I already bought a motor. It's in route. It shipped today. So that was another thing that I've been waiting on. So you'll have to see. I'm going to, cut, I'm going to do a video on motors that I've been looking on online. And then I'll tell you which one I chose to put on the back of this bad boy. But I got a new motor coming. So got to stay tuned for that. That's going to be another project there on it. So that's why I'm not in no big hurry. I'm going to take my time. Piece here, piece there. And eventually it'll all come together like it did last time. And then me and Cassie will be back out on the lower Laguna Madre. And we'll be doing our thing. Chasing the reds in the grass flat. So yeah, so that's where it sits. Um, takeaways on axles, uh, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing on this one was it had a four bolt pattern on the original ones, and the new ones only have a two bolt pattern. So, see how it has a four bolt pattern two and two. The new ones only have two, so I did have to do some modifying, a little bit of drilling, and but. They, they lined right up nicely. So. Yes. Looking good. And like once again. Oh and plus I had to buy a new jack. Because my old jack over there. That I got under the boat gave out. I've had that thing for. Whew. And it, actually it's the same one too. It's uh, Pittsburgh. So I would go down the Harbor Freight and hook it up. And I met a guy down there that works for Harbor Freight. Um, um, uh, Mark Markle. Yeah, this thing, this thing messed up on me, man. So it's it's ready to go to the scrap pile. So I got a new one to replace it. Actually, I bought two jacks. I don't have the other one out here. The other one's in the garage. But I got one of those Daytona. And that's actually pretty nice. That's a pretty nice jack. Uh, these are okay. I mean, that other one lasted me, I don't know, 10 years at least, 12 years. I've had that one. And then I had a red one before that one, which I don't know if it was the same brand, if it was Pittsburgh. But I, I, bought, all, I, I bought them all at Harbor Freight. That's where I bought them. Um, but this low profile, it's pretty good. I did the job today and like i said i bought another one anyway i met this guy up there and uh he does some fishing too him and his buddy uh texas tandem i think is who the guy is um i saw a couple of his videos so i subscribed to his channel um he's got a pretty cool uh um thing going and uh and yeah because he was asking me if I if I make videos anymore and I said yeah we're just we're just at a standstill at the moment because the boat's down but uh, I know everybody wants fishing videos but it's gonna be a little bit for me um, I need to focus on here and uh, especially when the motor the motor should be here in about eight to ten days it's shipping uh, FedEx uh, FedEx freight I got to pick it up in, I think, Mercedes. It's going to some 
warehouse. I thought for sure they'd ship it to the warehouse here that's off of Ed Carey and Harlingen, but apparently not. They got another wet warehouse, so I gotta go over there and get it when it comes in. And, um, and I'm excited, man. So I'm gonna, everything, everything's coming off. All new wiring, everything, everything. I got all new controls, uh, controls and uh, gauges and all that are coming UPS. I'm waiting on them to show up too. So um, we're gonna redo uh, everything. We're gonna upgrade it. Uh, I still gotta work on the do the body work. I haven't done any of the body work yet on the boat, so I need to get started on that. I've been looking around for a uh, new uh, trolling motor because my old motor guy seen better days. I mean, shit, you know, she still works. You know, one thing about this, what I like about this old motor guide, it's a three blade. Because if you notice, most of all your new, um, unless you get like a, a 36 volt, I want to say, those have three blades on them, but usually they're just two bladed. And so, I mean, this, this, old, this old girl did a lot, man. I mean, it, it's been good. I mean, it still works, but the... But I've kind of bent the shaft a couple of times on it and straightened it back out. I want to say this is an 80 pounder too. The old style, 12 volt, so it's not 36 volt or 24. But it, the, the, the stuff's off the top. But as you can see, it's got some. It's got some of its own issues too. So. It, it needs I need, it needs to get replaced so I'm going to be investing in a on a trolling motor but I just haven't decided which one yet I've been looking around alright so I don't want to get long winded it's already getting dark I need to get all my tools picked up but that's where it sits but hey it looks good right. new tire new rim both new axles are on. I just need to circle back, grind off that bolt, pick up another bolt from Johnny's because I, I, I torqued it too much and I bent it. <laughs> and I should not have done that. I should have, I was trying to make it get in there tight, good and tight. And and I, I put too much torque on the old uh, impact wrench and it bent the boat. So I would rather just grind it off and put another one in there so I don't have any issues later on down the road. But all the other ones lined out and it fit in perfectly. So I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, just like I say, just hang in there. Well, eventually one of these days we'll make it back. But uh, we've got projects over the winter now. So we're going to be hanging a new motor on the boat. I'm going to be hanging a new jack plate on the boat. Which I still got to order. I found, And actually, you know, I, I found one, uh, the Bob's jack plate. I think I can get one for about 12, 13, 12, something, almost 1300 bucks. So, brand new. So, I'm going to uh, hang that on there. A new gas tank. Uh, I think I can only fit a 29 gallon in there. So, that's coming too. I wish I could fit a bigger one, but I just don't have the space on that little console that I got. Um, it is what it is. But uh, I will be making a video, putting one out here in the next few days on the motors that I've been looking online at, comparing them, brands, what my two cents are in them, and uh, what I think about them, and then which one I chose. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have a good day, and Cassie and me, one of these days, we will see you guys out on the lower Luguna Madre. Y'all have a good day.